Hi, I'm Ken, this is Walt. Together we've got about 70 years experience in the pest control business. And we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about general pest control. Uh, we get a lot of calls. Um, people are looking for something that they just wanna kill bugs in general. They don't have any specific problem. Uh, they may have a few cockroaches. They may have a few spiders. They may have silverfish. Um, we can deal with these things with a general pest control kit. Um, tell them a little bit about what's in the kit that we sell off. Well, I always like to start with the liquids that can be used. Both of these products uh, can be used inside or outside. Uh, we generally will use a, a pump-up sprayer. Most, most homeowners have a, a sprayer such as this. Uh, pest control operators and, and uh, also you can purchase a, a real professional sprayer as well. A little expensive, but it'll last a lifetime. I always tell people that uh, when you pass, your your children will fight over this one because it'll still <laughs> it'll still be around, won't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, that that would be the liquids. This happens to be something like what's uh, twenty to forty gallons. Yep. Ten to twenty gallons. These are concentrates. You're not you're really not going to find this in stores. You're going to find this in the back of a pest control operator's truck. Uh, some t I, I always like to have an aerosol. Uh, an aerosol is fantastic because, gosh, w what if you see something and you're, you're, someone yells at you, there's a bug in my room, you're just one of your kids. Uh, you're not going to really want to go mix up this, right? Exactly. You know, you know I mean? so, exactly. But, but you have an aerosol that you, you got can got something just, here that's ready to go. Yeah, you can just yep. hit them like that. Uh, this happens to be a, a bait, and you know, baits are great, uh, especially uh, we get a lot of uh, certain insects, maybe silverfish, uh, the big American roach comes yep. up in the attic. Yep. Uh, it's a good place for the attic. Some, sometimes people have a, an ivy bed mm -hmm. on there. And also, I, I always forget, um, one of the things I always forget to tell people when they're spraying outside for insects, cut those shrubs back. They don't, they don't need to be touching the, uh, the side of the house because if you put a little barrier around, mm -hmm. you know, around the house and, and you don't, and, and the insects go right up there and they, they uh, I mean, we have enough trouble. That's a, right. lot, a lot of them can fly. And they are there. hopping right over the barrier if you have branches touching the house or anything like well, that. Well, some of the occasional pests that we really see, and, and, and that, that could be different times of the year, too, that you right. can see this. We'll get times of year where millipedes are a huge problem. We can deal with those with this kit. How about um, the uh, 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 carpenter bees? Carpenter bees always in the spring. You're have problems with those, all, so you all over definitely the can use these products for that. Um, uh, I, I, how, know, about, how about up in Ohio and West Virginia? What do they have up there? Oh, there's a ton of ladybugs and stink bugs. Oh yeah, these, and, and this these, kid's going to do a great job on that. And we got other things too. I mean, we some, sometimes I. Uh, this great product would be spraying for outside for the ladybug. Sometimes I like to have an aerosol for inside right. use, and you can use that or right. something with pyrethrin in there. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, other than that, we th th this is just something to have in your cabinets to go to. And right. now we it's, it's labeled for ants, but mm -hmm. I mean, is it? Maybe it's not something we want to do for ants. Yeah, well, I mean, it can handle a minor ant problem, but there may be something more specific for ants that you'll want to do if you've got a full-blown ant problem. And, and we, we have videos on ants, too. Right, so you exactly. Can, you know, can see what we suggest on ants. Right. As well, I mean, this is not, I mean, that this stuff is labeled for bed bugs on, on this, but it's not necessarily what we're going to suggest for bed bugs. Right. It's oh. not also a German roach. We don't want to use any yeah, of this for the German better roach. products for that. Check, for check sure. our video on the German roach. A lot of people ask too, how do I know when, I'm, when I need to spray? Well, I mean, the, the, the funny answer right. is when you start seeing bugs or when your wife tells you to. Yeah, but, that's uh, it. That's awesome. the, uh, the little glue traps that we've got. Good thing to place these glue traps oh, around. I about that. Yeah, they're a good little monitoring tool. You put them under the sink behind some furniture. If you find a bug in there, you know you need to do something. It's time to get busy and spray. So they're a real useful tool too. Well, get busy. Give us a call. Order the general purpose uh, uh, kit and uh, start your pest control service. Thanks. Thank you very much.